Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Raj from Smart AI Technologies. Today we will be going to see a project called Secure Land Registration System using Blockchain. Before moving further, first we will discuss few papers on this concept. Then we will propose our own system. Then we will see how we already built our application. We will see it's working. So first paper that I am referring is Land Registry using Blockchain as survey of existing system and proposing feasible solution. So in this paper, what they are presenting and what they are proposing, what is their proposed methodology that we will see because that is input for us. So over this proposed methodology, we define our own methodologies. Here you can see. So under problem identification identified and the solution both of them they are providing okay that is proposed system so the problem according to them the problem was forgery of property papers so they want to overcome that pro uh, that problem and the second thing was the security issue and the third one they are mentioning corruption the third thing okay so th these are the problems they identified and then what is the solution they are bringing is they are uh, mentioning that they are trying to uh, apply three things to the work one is admin and buyer and the seller admin who is going to uh, handle all the data so whatever the data comes from the user uh, that will be stored in the admin server buyer will need to evaluate it or you need to validate whether the particular land he is going to buy is uh, valid or uh, that is proper or not and uh, if he is planning to buy some land whether the data or details of that land is authenticated or not and then comes the seller so seller need to have authentication to check what is the information about him and what is his data available in the server so that he can take out or he can check always okay what is happening there so they are mentioning three things and in this paper they are not much uh, discussing on the technologies so how they are doing what is what is the a particular thing for example particular improvement over the previous models they are not speaking much about it okay so if you see these diagrams actually these block diagrams always uh, try to remain same because how the data is flowing how which data is moving into the blockchain so we will discuss a lot about this blockchain okay so what is a blockchain and why we need to use blockchain then other uh, encryption methods for our safety and security of the data and uh, why it is so much uh, like you may be heard about this blockchain so many places maybe bitcoin or uh, stock uh, stock data or like that okay so you will be you will always be hearing about this one blockchain or whenever someone speaks about the blockchain you will feel like okay this is one of the biggest or most important topic that we need to study in the present times so why we need to do that okay so what is the profit of using blockchain over the present technologies or integrating blockchain to the present technologies so that this the data will be safe and secure than the older system from this paper the thing was very clear they identified three problems or three problems they are mentioning they will do like uh, three pages if you are talking about a website they will do three pages where one will be for admin one other one will be for buyer and another one will be for seller now another paper we will check okay this is blockchain enabled uh, digitization of land registration so when you go through this paper and one thing you should remember is how to read uh, these research papers if you start to read from the first abstract and if you go on studying it that's fine okay if you can understand everything that's fine but you already working on some technology and now if you are reading some IEEE papers or some research papers your concentration first should be on the methodologies okay what is the methodology they are using what are the tools they are using sometimes what will happen they will not be doing everything from the base they will be using some available tools or technologies so that we need to understand okay then only you can define your proposed system so for us methodology our result and analysis of the paper is very important part so this is how the blockchains will work 
okay one block will connected to another block another block will be connected to another block okay they will be uh, like verifying the things based on the previous hash the next uh, block will be uh, verified and next block third block second blocks result will be the previous data previous hash it will go on continuation okay so whenever there is some disturbance in some block okay someone trying to change the hash code of the first block the whole chain will break out it will not move oh. you can see here how how the things will go how the data will exchange that's what they mentioned according to their proposed methodology or the system and here you may be seeing some uh, some details about the application they are using metamask or ethereum so these are all already available tools which have a option to simulate the blockchain so these having their own encryption technique so when it comes to ethereum it got ethis so like that uh, you may be heard about bitcoin uh, so that is a one of the uh, technique so like this a uh, bitcoin uses a technique called uh, sha 256 okay but uh, ethereum uses ethos in this case in this paper they are trying to use that tool ethereum okay they are not worrying lot about what is it having in the background what type of encryption it is doing and all those things they are not worrying too much but in our case we will build our own blockchain we will simulate simulate our own blockchain which is more complicated than what a simple uh, SHA 256 ETS will do okay so we will try to add our own uh, idea methodology or proposed system will be our own okay so it will not be from ethereum or bitcoin in this paper also they are not discussing a lot about it and when it comes to front end you see there is only one page with the simple data input and when you feed the input you will get the results like this what is the detail of the owner details of that particular lab for these two papers what we are trying to add new okay, what are the methodologies that we can add as a new data to our proposed system what is our proposed methodology so we will discuss about that as a first part of our proposed methodology we are going to use our own model for that that is we are going to use SHA SHA 512 for encryption and we are not going only with SHA 512 over this over this we are going to add another technical RSA algorithm this RSA algorithm I got two things one is private key and public key so whatever the data is there that data will be encrypted using public key and only that can be accessed with the help of private key this is a second stage of security that is given to the data and this is the first level of security that will be given to the data and when it comes to our project what is the structure of our project what are the details are there and how we are doing it so how we are dividing whose role will be what so normally with our project we will be having admin and then comes the buyer and the next thing is landowner for these people we have different pages different web pages for each of one so what is the task of admin what is the what is the way of accessing the data for buyer and what will be the work that is done by land owner to make sure his data is safe and secure so it depends on both uh, three of them okay and we'll discuss about it okay once i will show our website and once we see the working how it is doing and you will understand it far better and third the best way okay no paper discuss about it this is what our main proposed methodology that is here we are using qr code which is generated based on the data that is using blockchain so we are not using blockchain as it is and over blockchain we are applying rsa 
with rsa we are using qr code so this this is more secure and safe and here we are giving more power to land owner so land owner is having so much of power that he can make sure his data is more secure and more safe we will discuss about it how our application is working and how these things will be more impactful impactful in the process here i am using flask flask in the back end and html css for the front end so i am uh, i am having one virtual environment called uh, this so i am activating it then i am going to run my code app.py for this i am using data sql uh, database for that i am using local server called xamp this is our website now you can see it's more professional okay. this is not a simple uh, project simple web page so where we integrated first we integrated admin buyer and land owner land owner uh, buttons where they can click and enter and here we almost trying to give in-depth details if you are a company if you are providing this service how you will be giving it where you will be providing your clients detail you will be uh, talking about your services okay how your services will be impactful and what are the advanced technologies that you are having so that you make sure the data is well secured and safe so it is just like a company website or a professional website where you can give support to some other companies or So this is team okay, latest news and blog you can add okay. so it is having almost almost all the features that a real professional website will be having once you have this once you click on the admin page it will take you for login and register with the admin data Once admin enters his page, he will be having option to enter the details. So now he can add district. I will be for now. I will be adding some random details. Say. You can be very specific. In my case, I am adding only one city data. and owner detail here owner detail will be is other number so we will note first what other number we are entering so let us enter a unique other number so it will be 1234 4321 1234 let us enter this which is new other number This other number i am going to submit the details okay the product added successfully are the details added successfully here so i need to go to admin page so i come back to my home page so here we are having option for buyer and land owner our next step will be land owner so if he registered in some government body or private body so now we need to check whether his data is updated into server or not so his first task will be is entering his other number again then he will be getting otp to the given details given number mobile number so in he can enter the otp now you see 
it says download the image download the image that's what this will be the qr code okay qr code way that only that uh, owner of the land can able to do this once he downloads he can share it with any buyer who is interested in buying his property he can share that qr code okay, that particular qr code can be shared to some other people in the meantime where they can scan okay for them we have other page in our case we'll check okay it's downloaded based on is uh, other number is downloaded you see this is the qr code generated using blockchain this is not a simple qr code no one can copy this no one can generate this it's very highly impossible so over all other papers in the IEEE, this is the only unique paper we are using qr code for our document uh, safety and service using blockchain technology that is land details especially we are talking about land documentation safety so now what a buyer should do so how he should verify once once he get that qr code because he need to have the permission that that is the problem in the real world anyone can know the details about any land so uh, there is a problem okay so many people try to forgery it or like that so to overcome this problem if you need to buy a pro, buy uh, any any land you need to first have a permission of land owner you need to first talk to him if he gives you need to check okay whether his land details are true or not otherwise admin also can do this task government body also once you request government body he can they can provide with the qr code and they will be having the data whom they give whom they are giving the qr code so if there is any problem in future you will be accountable the buyer will be accountable to it so now for buyer what we are trying to do that we will check now that is once if you open this buyer button here we are not uh, asking much about the information about the buyer only what we want is the qr code just scan the qr code whatever you are having from the admin or from the seller Here on uh, old QR code is there, that one I will scan. Okay, now you see, based on this QR code, you are, you are getting the results. So this is one of the QR code, which is already I am having with me. Okay, this is there in database. I tested with some random values, A, A, B, B, C, C. Okay, in this case, if you want to test it on your data, we will do it. For that first we need to share that qr code now we will do it on the present detail okay the qr code i got for my mobile now i will uh, I'll try to scan it from my mobile which one we just entered one two three four four three two one one two three okay, for that i have generated that qr code that is already generated and i share it okay now we need to test You need to come back completely. Otherwise, it will be a bit hard to follow like who is opening the page or not. So for that, you need to come to home page, then you need to go to the buyer page, then you need to scan. I know it's a bit uh, time taking, but it will be more secure and safe. Okay, it scanned my QR code and the data is available here. Okay, what it says, you can see that. Okay, Mangalore, Mangalore and Mangalore. So I gave some survey number. Okay, ISA number, period of year. You can give the period of year. Okay, I just give only one date and owner details. That means mainly other card. So and also we are trying to give the first level ash code. First level ash code. Okay, in our blockchain there will be different blocks. Okay, to just we will not normally add this as code to the database but anyway for now we are showcasing it for educational purpose and 
here you can see these features are limited okay i i uh, wrote these features based on the karnataka government uh, body details what they are taking into the website so based on that i just give a few or uh, few values few inputs i am taking just like that so now you can increase it to any level you can take name of the uh, owner father name face uh, date of birth so many things you, you can go in depth okay and also you can take measurement of that land and if they have uh, geographical survey images you can add that from the government body itself if they have any documentation say if they have any image documentation or text documentation they can add it so you can you can expand this work okay? you can expand this work to any level but as i mentioned you our work is doing something special and something unique uh, over the the previous papers so that is we are trying to make this so much simple for buyer for seller and also for admin where buyer no need to worry much about it okay once he request admin or the landowner they will give they will be providing him qr code because both of them will be having qr code in their databases now once once the buyer get the qr code he can scan and he can get the detail and that qr code is so much secure that it is built based on the blockchain so that no forgery can happen no one can copy no one can generate it so that is the thing no one can generate the qr code which is equal to that so it will be more more secure than all other papers if you want this project you can call to the given number and we'll discuss a lot about it and we can make more improvements for you and we smart AI technologies who normally support students researchers and some startup companies in ai ml and data science to work with their technology for example if you are a student we will be helping you from base paper selection to the final year external presentation where we will be helping with the code we will be taking classes accordingly if some students want some support phase wise phase one phase two phase three they will be need uh, phase wise support so in that case we will do phase wise support and all these services having their own uh, their own importance okay for example some students just like they want the whole code itself at once and they will manage some students you need to hand over them till the end and it will be very helpful for them so according to your interest will be giving you services so even if you are a startup company and if you are working on some abcd technology you can approach us if you are if you are stuck we will be helping you to so this was all about the project and if you are interested you can always contact us to the given number and we will be helping you thank you thank you so much for watching this video and also you can go to our youtube channel and the uh, home page you can see so many videos and uh, we made almost more than 19 94 videos you can watch them and they are having more important content and some projects are some projects are very good okay uh, just like uh, blockchain based voting system blockchain based e-commerce product uh, forgery de detection whether that pro that pro particular product is uh, valid or not so like that projects are there on blockchain are there on machine learning artificial intelligence data science python data analysis so you can watch them and I, I think they will be very helpful for you thank you thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and like our channel